What's up, everybody? How you doing? We got people in the chat coming in. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Hi. Yes, today is Monday. Hello. This is the rare occasion where uh, we do a pod on a Monday. We only make this exception for a few people. Mm. And we do have a special guest today, uh, a guest we've been hanging out for the last year yep. here and there. Um, yep. Met him this past year or so and um, because we have the same team. Yeah. So we tend to hang out and... Um, it was my first time hearing about him, but recently I went to my nephew's birthday party, and it's half Filipino. Yeah, and uh, re, uh, you know I've been hanging out with all the Filipino fam for the last couple of years since my sister married a Filipino man. Mm -hmm. And this birthday part, this birthday party this past weekend, all the aunts and uncles came out, and they were all like, "Titas, yeah, all the titas was like, hey, you know James Reed, right?" <laughs> <laughs> So wait, wait. So and, he's and, like and, that? Yeah, and then the, and then the aunt was like, "Where is he?" <laughs> <laughs> like he's gonna like, pop up. Like he was supposed to be <laughs> there at the party. Like, Yo, what the fuck? Where's James? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 If, if I brought you, that would have been a fucking flex. Oh, Next time, oh, I'm gonna I have posted you a photo. Um, like. Yeah. In Feb, when I first got here. I think that's what it yeah. was, because they follow you, and they saw me in there. They are like, oh, shit, that's okay. Crazy. But then where's James? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, today's special guest is a, is, uh, uh, what is it, um, what coined the term, a multimedia prince. Ooh. Multimedia This is according prince. to Wikipedia. Damn. I yeah. just looked it up. Yeah, you must have looked that up. Is that, a, is that like a Wikipedia thing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. It says multimedia prince, so that means he's tapped into so many different industries. Um, and okay. He's an artist, yeah. um, a musician first and foremost, what an else? actor mm. from the Philippines. And we're going to get into how he kind of, you know, broke through into the industry. This is James Reed, ladies and Let's gentlemen. Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. How you doing, James? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. On a Monday. Yeah, no, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for doing this. I asked him very last minute, even though I feel bad because we've hung out last year. And yeah. <laughs> I asked him like two days ago before the pot. <laughs> wow, and you rolled up. But he was down. So that that's, that's, that's says, vo speaks volumes about your character. James, you speak the uh, Australian <laughs> hat that I wore too, right? Because yeah, I'm no, I appreciate Australia it. Originally, I can't do it though. Too many things dangling in my face right now. <laughs> for, for a lot of those who may not be familiar with you, you are an artist that resides in the Philippines, right? Yeah. So, um, I, I live in the Philippines. I moved the twelve years ago, mm -hmm. so I was sixteen at the time. Wow. And I, I was originally from Sydney, Australia. You were so born there. Born and raised Sydney. Yeah. Uh, moved to the Philippines when I was sixteen. With your family? Uh, just with my dad. Just yeah. with your dad. Yeah. Gotcha. And that that's a that's a pretty drastic move. That's a I would huge say. Yeah, it was. change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you feel all well, my friends are like, "What the hell are you thinking?" Right, 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 right. So where do you feel like is really home for you? Right now, it's definitely Philippines. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that's but, what home is now. But what's the first feeling? So you you're 16, you're used to the Australian lifestyle, and all yep. of a sudden you go to the Philippines as a complete culture shock. What was your first thoughts? Did you not, you know, you probably like, "What the hell?" Like I'm leaving my friends and all that. Yeah, no, I, I would go, I would visit the Philippines once a year because my mom mm. lived in gotcha. the Philippines. Uh. Okay. We went, we went together, but I visit once a year. But I, when I first went there, oh, when I was 16, to go to school, mm. I lasted like a month. Damn. Because I would just, I look so different from everyone else in, uh. in class. What do you mean lasted a month? Like, <laughs> no, I lasted a, I, they, after they, that, after a month, I was like, I can't do this anymore. And right. I just wow. went to, uh, I did like homeschool type shit or what? Yeah. Like, well, were you like distance education? Wait, were they bullying you, or were they just like look no, at that it's weirdo? Not even, it's not even bullying. Like, I just felt so awkward by it because like some kids would like take photos of me wow. in the classroom oh, and wow. sell it to the other kids. And sell what it to the, the other kids? Yeah, and the teachers what? would tell me that I was like, this is just really weird. Every time I would come into school, people would like scream, and I was like, you oh, know what? God. I don't think I could do this. So, so you went to uh, at seventeen. You want sixteen? You went there, and then. Well, you were already famous by then, then because people were taking pictures and sending them to. No, other I wasn't, but I think just no. because I looked so different. Oh, right. interesting. Yeah. But that's what I mean. That's is that that's a form of fame? Is like being so unique that people need to talk about you? Well, no, it's also what they're looking think? at you like a freak of nature. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. I felt more like kind of like that. Yeah. I know that didn't mean it in like a bad way, but for sure, but still, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah. Uh, so you go there, you start homeschooling, and then you were on Big Brother. Yeah. So I was only doing homeschooling for maybe a month. Mm. And then I was just kind of walking down the street. Um, and this guy came out of a, a gay bar. Yeah. Okay. And was like, Hey, you got the look. Here's my card. <laughs> yeah. 
And then naturally I was like, you're like, he's hitting on you first. Right. Naturally, I just kind of just threw it away and right. I just carried on about my day. I was like, no, no right. way. Right, 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 right. And then, and then the next night I was in a restaurant and then the same dude popped up. I was oh. eating with my dad and he was like, hey, you never called me. And I was like, oh man, I lost your card. <laughs> and then he was like convincing my dad that I should go to ABS-CBN. That's a TV network. Mm. Right? Um, so I went into, I, I, I just went there hoping to meet you know, kind of people, people like me. Yeah, right. And then uh, I met a director. He was like, I like this guy. Let's put him in our show. <laughs> and I was like, what's the show? It's Big Brother. And Big Brother in the Philippines. Yeah, Big Brother in the Philippines. Okay, okay. PBB. Yeah, so within a couple of days, I was inside the house already. Right. Damn. No audition, no wow. nothing. No. Did I did have to do an audition. Right. Okay. What can, let, let, what what kind, what does uh, these auditions entail for a reality show? I was always mm -hmm. curious. Do they just pick your brain, what your personality's like, and shit, or what? Uh, my audition was a little different because the show had already started. Oh, yeah. so they threw you in they as the kinda, wild card, kind of like that. So. Here's the wild card. They just threw <laughs> Let's me in stir there. things up. Yeah. Yeah. No, they were just like. We don't have Australian. That's a good flavor. So like, kind of, let's just throw them in. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah. What 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 are the other um, people in the house like? Like I I I not I haven't watched the show, but well the the version that I did it was like like Filipinos the Pinoy house. Yeah. It was like actually two houses, but no one knew those two houses. And mm -hmm. then I was in the international house, so we had we had kids from like all different places. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. All different places, but in the Philipp you guys live in, but the in the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. Not necessarily Filipino. Yeah. Okay. And then is it like basically the most popular person wins? Because you won, right? Yeah, it's you basically won. a popularity it's a contest. It's a voting system. Yeah, it's a voting wow. system. Yeah. Were you popular in so high school? you were popular. <laughs> I guess. Were, yeah. were you voted yeah. prom king? No, not at all. That's why, like, in Australia, I'm just like, you know, just a normal dude. Okay. And I came out here and I was like, I came out to the Philippines. So that's how you got your big, show. That, that was your big break. Yeah. Big brother. Yeah. And then from there, you like got a record contract where you, you got into music or what or were you always into music no in in the philippines i kind of like if you win that show they expect that you you're gonna do to big things else. yeah yeah, yeah. In, in australia you win that show you win you get the money yeah and then you just piss off back to your, your normal life mm, that's and then that's it i mean but that but it, then in the philippines it's like if you win that show it's, it's expected that he has to do you're something gonna, you're gonna from, do yeah. something yeah now, but the so, prize is crazy do you got like a a, a condo right yeah, like, it was like a, it was like condo and like a some water, prize. some yeah, some so, crazy so shit. So your your prize yeah, is how did you know that? <laughs> Yo, I, he's like the Nardwar of podcasts. He like, randomly knows so much. Yeah, like, put yeah, the mic yeah. more straight to his. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Um, yeah. P P three million. Um, but yeah, so the pro the, they give you property. Yeah. Like you own the condo. Yeah. And then they give you a cash prize. And then they're like, what is he going to do next exactly. after this reality show? But in America, it's like it could go either way. <laughs> That's kind of tight. I a, like that. Yeah, but a reality star out here, it's like you have people who do continue to do other shit mm -hmm. or not. You yeah. know, like and sometimes even an American Idol, like the second place person goes off to do even For crazier sure. shit than the first place. Yeah. Person. I mean, in America, if you do a crazy interview at a local news, <laughs> like yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can make a brand off that. You so know what, what I mean? after you win this thing, did you feel like, damn, what am I going to do next? Or did somebody reach out to you like okay i want to represent you let's do something like let's start your music career or what yeah i mean i when i came out of the show i was 17 years old yeah so i was like i have no idea what to do with any of this yeah yeah um but they would make me tour around the country so you'd, you'd tour with like the, the the winners of the show yeah and then we tour around the different like parts of the country and then just meet all the fans the people that were voting and yeah and then i was like what am i gonna do and they said well most mostly people sing yeah and I was like, I can't sing though. <laughs> He's like, you're Filipino. <laughs> and they're like, it's okay. Like, just pick a song everyone knows how to sing. And, yeah. wow. just, and I was like, all right. So I started doing these shows. Yeah. And then I really fell in love with singing, Woo! like performing for for the crowd and everything. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's really backwards. Right. Like I was already famous. I had no idea why. And I was trying to figure out what I'd like to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. As, Damn. Yeah, that's kind of good. Right. So, uh, yeah, I had it the whole thing off backwards. It's weird. I, I know, like, in the <laughs> Philippines, like, pop culture is so huge. And, you know, they love Korean dramas, too. And, you know, Korean pop culture. And, and yeah. celebrity culture is really big, too. So when you made these appearances, like, what was the vibe like? Was, was there, like, tons of people showing up? You know, because this is, like, a winner 
of a reality show. You yeah. know? See, he's the most popular person in the country, to be honest with you. <laughs> Wait, was he? Or what, yeah, what, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I mean, it sounds like it. Was the show big? Was it like a really popular show or what? Yeah, it was like the number one TV number show. Number one show. Bro, he was like <laughs> number one. <laughs> he won <laughs> it. He was I'm 17. I'm trying to learn here. I'm trying to learn like, here. What do I do with this? Yeah. Yeah. So he's like, was, was, I'm gonna sing my ass off. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about like like <laughs> malls she, shut down and shit, like shut down shopping centers and stuff because of people, like thousands of people screaming. Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, yeah, I've had I've like when I came out of the show, I still thought I could do normal person shit. Right. So I did go to the mall and it was a huge mistake. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, how the, how crazy was it? What happened? Um. I got trapped inside a store because so many people were outside Ooh. and then I had to make like like the security guards had to create like a ring yeah, yeah. and then just kind of put <laughs> me in the middle of that ring and try and get me to the exit that's crazy that's a game in its but, own yeah. god damn that's people would like dang. steal like the rings off my fingers and, and so you were just completely oblivious you thought okay well I need to go pick up something yeah I didn't realize it would be <laughs> like that yeah so Damn, they didn't give you like a re-entry do you like going to there i'm sure there's countries you can still go to and like people yeah. don't just recognize you do, yeah. is that ref, I, I have friends who've told me like that's refreshing for them they they're like it feels like freedom yeah yeah is that is that true for you at some point where you're just like i think in the, like towards when it was all started happening definitely mm -hmm. like going back to australia or going you know somewhere else in asia or japan Mm. It's just kind yeah. of like, ah, no one knows who I am. This is great. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Is there some shit like, I always wonder about this when you get to a certain level, especially like when you become like a pop star that has to upkeep like your look, right? For like, sure. would you not leave the house with some shit like fucked up? You know what I mean? Like if you're, you got a crazy pimple. You're crazy pimple or like, you know, you just want to yeah. wear like some thong sandals or some yeah. shit like, but you feel like, nah, because. No, I, we I, might get some pictures on TMZ. No, I would shit. do that on purpose because mm. then people would notice me less. You if I if I walk around with like like shades on, and I like see. I'm dressed up nice. Right. People would just go, "Oh shit, that's that's." I get you. Yeah, yeah. I, I just go out with like a Mickey Mouse T-shirt and like <laughs> flip a red market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your normal clothes in your head? What's your normal? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and some Crocs and uh, some Gucci Crocs. <laughs> Versace robe, you know. Okay, so you do this, and then you you start recording music, and you start getting known. Like I'm trying to see the growth of like okay. where it went from like reality to like mm. pop star, you know. Yeah, so I really didn't want like any part of it, kind of. Yeah. At the start, right. but then I was really enjoying like music and singing. Um, but instead of that, they pushed me into acting. Right. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, I think TV actors are like the biggest thing in the Philippines. More mm. than movies, more than artists, yeah. singers. Because every day TV people actors. are glued to the television. Exactly. Yeah, they're not um, necessarily going to theaters every day, but yeah. they're more present in everyone's lives. You know. Yeah, so I, I started acting in movies, uh. and then we have a thing called. Oh my god, am I gonna explain love teams right now? Did I ever <laughs> mention? No, with love teams. Yeah. Talk to me. No. We're did, in it. I'm did interested. Did you do your research and check out love not teams? this one? I'm okay. In, uh, I'm interested. Oh man. So in the Philippines, there's this thing called a love team. Mm -hmm. Um where they get two actors and mm -hmm. they put them together and then the audience likes their chemistry. Yeah. So every project you do after that, it's always with that same person. What? That's it's an crazy. arranged show business marriage, bro? So it's like Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. That's an interesting way to put it. Yeah. But yeah, like... Uh, when they like... It's like, like Brangelino. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And then they even do that with the names. And, but yeah. they do that with... with they put them in every movie project, like like a series or like yeah. a franchise or something. I did like six movies and like three TV shows and was only with interesting yeah, with uh, with my partner. Holy shit. My love team partner. So. Yeah. I mean, they do that kind of stuff in Hollywood because you will see certain two people, right? Always in the same movie. I thought it was because the director like liked. Yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. it was because the directors liked working with them. Well, it's like Tom something. Hanks and Meg Ryan. You know, yeah. they did like Sleepless in Seattle. You've got mail. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but this is interesting because this is just like a thing out there where they it's, just it's do crowdsourced. it. It's crowdsourced. So like yeah. they're they're voting for so it. different yeah, with that black well, hair. What look oh, at whoa. you! Oh my god, you look more mature in this in this with your dark hair than I, mean, I look immature now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like I'm like the other Asian with the blonde. I, I would, yeah, I would really hate it if I got Yo. paired up with somebody I couldn't stand. Yeah, what if you scenes? if you hate this person? I'm saying after six projects though, like what if after <sighs> the third is like uh, you know kind of like that? The you gotta keep pops. going, man. I don't know, like that. It's do it's, they vote you? Do they reelect it or? How do you stop? The, how do you stop it? You can't. Like once they ship you, <laughs> and there's fans behind yeah. it, it's unstoppable. 
Wow. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't go back. So, like, yeah. if you, if you split, well, you can. Wait, is your mic on? I don't know. It sounds kind of weird. Yo, is Tony, mine? Tony, I think his mic's getting picked. I don't I'm think his mic is on. No, so, I think it someone is. Someone said mine was what's wrong. What's I don't up hear with your Steffi's? voice. I don't hear your voice in oh, my Oh, shit. There's like people talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a Twitch stream. Is it on? So, it's, okay. it's yeah, being check, streamed check. right now. Can you turn me up a little bit, brother? I don't know if his mic is on, bro. Yeah, I feel yeah, like his yeah. voice it is, is on. It is, it okay, is, okay, cool. I, I, I would love anyways. to see you on Riverdale. You ever watch that show? <laughs> no. He, uh, he it's have an a Riverdale American, look. He got a Riverdale he's got a, look. You got a to, I, lo, I don't know why. It's kind of. It's like a teen show, very dramatic, and like everyone's beautiful. But mm-hmm. you have the look, kid. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Riverdale look. Yeah. <laughs> I would like you to he's represent. Got, he's got Riverdale numbers. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Um, hold on. So, so this thing with movies. You, how many films have you been in the Philippines? I've probably done like six or seven. And this is all I could be completely wrong. This is all in Tagalog, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And wow. Tagalog and English. Like a fusion mm. of it. Do you play Tag-ish. like how, yeah, Tag- what, you, yeah, what kind of like characters do you usually play? Is it like the rom com love interest? It's like exclusively rom com. It is. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. Who would you compare? Like the Gosling, would you say? The Ryan Gosling in the Philippines? <laughs> you know Who would you saying? compare? Because yeah. you know, because Ryan Gosling is like a rom com guy. Who would you right? want yeah, to yeah, compare yeah. yourself yeah, with? Yeah. 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 No, I fuck with Ryan Gosling. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. That's a good cool. one, huh? You hit him yeah. with the first take, Ryan real. Gosling. RG, baby. You hit him with the RG real quick. I hit him with the RG. You okay, know? but um, I gotta say one one thing that was I was impressed when I first met you and I followed you. You have James the Instagram handle, and I <laughs> so I started thinking about all the famous James that exists on right. the planet. Yeah, and like what you had to hundred uh, percent top. <laughs> so let's think about some other famous James, right? Yeah. James Corden, Corden. <laughs> James Corden. For Even sure. James Corden didn't get James. I w- I wonder how many have reached out to your management to to try to get get it, take it. You no, know people I mean? like message my DM directly, yeah. yeah, saying like, "How much do I have to pay you? Yeah, for you to give me at James." So is Cor- there a number Corden that you would up. take? Is no, there a number actually, you would take? I had to talk about this yesterday, yeah. so I'm gonna ask someone. I just need to know how much that really <laughs> yeah, spend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need to know how much yes. it's worth. Yes, <laughs> because it is pretty. Yeah, it's just shop James. it around. Can you can, just DM James Corden like, hey Corden, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking? Suck <laughs> shop. So, so people are throwing out some of the James in this chat, James and Corden. they're more fictional. James okay. Dean is, you know, he's dead. He's passed away. Rest, uh-huh. rest in peace. I don't know why he, that was like fifty years ago. <laughs> James Bond, that's fictional. Yeah, but let's think about some real James, like James, James Franco, Franco for sure. Oh, James Franco, James M. Wood. But I feel like James Franco wouldn't be the type like I need James. <laughs> I think he would. You think dude? so? Yeah. Okay. Like okay. One of his artistic projects, you know. What I mean? LeBron James. He's not gonna go by James though. Yeah. You yeah. know, he'll take LeBron. Um, the book of James, you know what I mean? You, mean, <laughs> okay. the okay. you know what? You deserve James. I don't care about any of these other people. I just feel like I don't give a fuck. No one yeah. here has really fought for James. Hundred percent. You know, like that's true. So you got James off of like a you, like you just got it and you locked it in or what? Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> if if the name has been inactive for like a certain amount of time, yeah, then you can just ask for. Ask for it from Instagram and they'll give it to you. What? Oh, someone right. had it and it didn't do anything with so it. So someone had at James, but it was just inactive for like I don't know. Yo, could you imagine years? he sees it? It's like seven point one million. It's like what the fuck just happened? I, I I don't think I'm gonna get Jonathan, nor do I want Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked up just dumb? I did. I, I've actually had a conversation with somebody. I couldn't get it still. And yeah. I kind of was like, I don't know if I want just Dumb sounds yeah. like a meme account. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking just that. Yeah. Sounds yeah, like yeah. a meme account. Yeah. I, do you think you're going to get Rick? Nah. You're dude. not getting Rick, nah, fam. Rick is not going to happen. You're dude. not getting Rick. Rick is I've barely high. got lyrics. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think you should get Steffi, though. Because uh, Steffi Graf, but then I have an E at the end, so it shouldn't be that hard, but someone has it. Well, I, I was just, yeah, well, congratulations on James. That is crazy. <laughs> Congrats on James. I hope <laughs> yeah. you never lose James, because that is a flex all on that its own. That is a flex. Um, so I, uh, I want to watch one of your movies. What's one of your movies called? I want to try to just guess what it's about by the title of the movie. <laughs> What's that one that okay. has NG in the middle of it? Yeah. Um, Never Not Love You. Never wow. not. Yeah, guess wow. that one. God, dude. That sounds so. <laughs> that already gave me chills title. right now. Wait, how yeah. could you never not love? Well, no, 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 I'm yeah. trying to because this, this was like a puzzle. It's a double negative. Never, never not, not love, love you. you. Yeah. You'll always love. You'll you'll, always love I'll always love you. But not even I'll always love, love you. But they flipped no. it. No. Never, never not, not love, love you. you. That's a minus minus heart. So that means the minuses cancel out, and it's a heart. It's a it's a beautiful All equation. Right, so oh, okay, let's. Is this the movie poster? Wow. Oh, you look different here too. 
Yeah. You look, your hair really changes. You a look, lot. you yeah, look a does. lot more rugged right here. I and older. Wow. Doesn't he look older? Look at that neck. Oh, hold on, hold on. Leave it in this. This. this look at this guy. He's look so at this cool. Guy it's like a, right there, bro. It's like a Wan Kar Wai. There's movie. a lot of sex appeal in this situation it's Kar, right it's now. It's like a Wan Kar Wai yeah. film. That's oh, that's Wan Kar Wai wow. influence right there for sure. That's Ryan Gosling. So let me tell you. Let me tell you. Is that a man bun? You put that on the. It is a man bun. Put that on the screen. So this he's a takeout. He he does takeout delivery. So that that is Nadine. So she was my love team partner. Like my whole was career. this the first movie or no this was like one of the okay. later movies so he, he's like a takeout delivery guy and you guys play different characters is that every, was that what you think the story i'm is? thinking he's a takeout delivery guy he's delivering okay. something to the girl right. who's who's clearly she comes from money you know a little trust fund baby and then mm. it's a romeo and juliet opposite side of the train tracks kind of story you keep, know what keep i mean keep cycling through the pictures so we get some visuals did you yeah. uh have to take classes do they teach you how to to ride a motorcycle <laughs> that too but also act Look at oh this yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so you learned how to ri ride a motorcycle because of this show. Yeah. Holy shit! That's dope. Yeah. How did you do the trans? Okay, so reality TV show acting, right? You're being yourself. You know, you're being charming. You're exuding charisma. How do you? How do you <laughs> learn acting after that? Like, you, you have to go training. You, you go school duh, fool. <laughs> yeah, like they have like for how like, many years though? Like, how do you pick that up? Um. They gave me like three lessons before putting me in my first show. What the? They're fuck? like, he's yeah. good to go. Yeah. Wait, did I tell you to do the whole like method thing where like use your own experiences, emotional experiences to like bring it out, or is it like using your past memory? Of yeah, they try. I tried that that kind of stuff, or using your own yeah, like your own trauma. Yeah, but that just doesn't work for me. Oh, yeah. For me, it was just easier to just believe what was happening right there and then. <sighs> So it's, you must be very creative. It's That's interesting creative. to to like I think acting classes maybe in different countries yeah. could be different <laughs> yeah. because different cultures tap into their emotions For differently. Sure. That yeah. is you true. imagine like a Korean acting class? It's like you got the K drama <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. You know, Philippines, Yo. even the UK, it's probably different. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's probably different. That is very true. Yeah. So you, Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. No, I'd be scared. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like in Asia, I'd be like, really, you know, they'd be really strict. Like, yeah. Koreans would be really strict about it. If, like, if, you know, if I didn't like the teardrops drip, like, just right amount, it just seems a little bit. <laughs> so you can't even do it. If, if you can't you cry can't on command. Cry? Can you cry on command? I mean, not anymore. But Sometimes. I would have, yeah, we would have to, like, they it's push like 6 a.m. in the morning. We're like, all right, this is the crying scene. You got to do it. Yeah, like, this is well, this is airing tomorrow. So, what do you think about needing out? What, oh, what do you what man. do you think about when you try to cry on command? <laughs> it's intimate. It's a very good question. Yeah, because I have my thing. Uh, no, so I don't use past experience. Yeah, but then I will like use someone from my past, mm. and then kind of put them in that situation, and then like flip the script. Mm. But then they're still I'm still using that person. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I know what I think about. What, what do you, you think, think about? I imagine my mom being homeless. Wow. And asking me for money. And I just ignore her. I'm like, what are you fucking <laughs> asshole? Not me, yeah. but like this fictionalized evil villain person I've become. Right yeah. And I'm like, you, you know, I I, ha I don't have a lot of crying experience, as we all know. We've mm -hmm. talked about this. Mm -hmm. But I remember that's the kind of thing that like old people working like hard. For sure. You know what I mean? Like old envisioning people like me, like old people suffering is like it makes me cry because I was on 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 the plane and I watched this ridiculous movie about three grandmas who are <laughs> from Korea, yeah, who rob a bank for the exact amount of money f of their vacation. <laughs> <laughs> like they've been working like their whole life and yeah. they're like we just want to go to this island for a vacation and oh. costs like nine hundred dollars for the flight so they rob the bank for the exact amount of the <laughs> flight ticket and then they get it they get away with the thing and as soon as they're about to board the flight you just see a handcuff no Bam! and you're like oh. i was Balling, bro. And it was the most so ridiculous bad. premise. Damn. It was the most was ridiculous. So specific. It was a ridiculous premise, but yeah. I was bawling my fucking eyes out. You know but, what I mean? Yeah. But that, that's such a specific thing to like, <laughs> like, oh, in movies, this is what I cry about. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like, he's like, wait, Jerick, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'm not done with the thought. <laughs> No, it is. It's like a specific thing. I mean, what what's kind of things that you think No, about? I would think the exact same thing. Like, like my, family my shit? Yeah, for parents? sure. Yeah. yeah for like, me, it's always parents. Like, parents. If it's, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Specifically, like, my dad. Mm. So, like, those kinds of, of movies. Like, uh, what was that? About Time. Have About you seen time? that one? No, no. About Time. Let's watch a James Reed movie today. <laughs> Should we watch a James Reed? Let's yeah. not. Let's watch a James Reed. <laughs> Are we doing a uh, James Reed marathon? I don't know about a marathon. Okay. <laughs> we could do two or three. Wait, na name, name two more other movies that you've done. 
Okay. The uh, titles. Never not was, love you. Yeah, never not love you. Uh, talk back and you're dead. Oh okay. yeah. Okay, I saw this one on on the or list of filmography. Uh -huh. So this yeah. is already interesting. Talk back <laughs> or you're dead. <laughs> Wait, is it yeah. talk back when you're dead or talk back or you're dead? Talk back and you're dead. And you're okay. dead. Dude. Okay, hold on. Hold that on. is so like appropriate. Like I my love it. that reminds me of my mom. You know, yeah. you know, it's like <laughs> Wait, you say you... anything. Else? <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. Yeah. And then is you this say, about parents? Uh, well, can you guess what this one's about then? Yeah, yeah. I feel it's, like. But then the poster doesn't look. Yeah, the like poster's the thing. not really helping. The poster's kind of confusing a the little bit. The poster mm. and the writing. What it makes me think is that it's actually like scary as fuck. What oh, right? I see what's going on. Like There's a triangle situation. Okay, hold on. We're gonna guess it real quick. Oh, yeah. I know that's the asshole. The one on the left. He's got to be the bad. Even boy the second with the post. Hair. The second poster looks like a whole different movie compared yeah. to the first. <laughs> but my I don't whole like thing, that. My whole thing about this title and everything what i think about okay we can go around the table mm -hmm. what i think and you can tell which so yeah. what, what i think this movie is about i thought it was going to be a girl on the poster like a sassy girl yeah to like her husband like yeah mm -mm -mm. exactly you know like like she's a sassy I wear wife the pants in this house like I, yeah i wear the pants in this house that's exactly. what i thought it was going to be yeah, about. Yeah. what did you think it was going to be i about? thought it was going to be like what she said like meet the fuckers meet the parents like uh, okay. the girl brings the guy to the house meets the dad and the dad's like you talk back and you're dead you motherfucker i feel like this is like a mur <laughs> okay. a mur this is like a murder mystery thing he is she talks back at the wrong time and mm, then and then, and then and then oh. like a knife in their hand something the parents hand accidentally drops on her and then she's dead and final then, destination and, and, and then yeah you took it completely in a different yeah, direction yeah. okay so what is it about <laughs> well i mean all those sound kind of like more accurate than what it's actually about yeah. <laughs> uh, what is, uh, now i gotta know yeah. basically so he's like it's a sports movie uh, the, the story the story is written by there's a thing called wattpad in the philippines so fan, it's like fan fiction fan-made mm. stories and then we uh the producer took it from that so this is a fan-made story oh wow yeah about That's a girl crazy. falling in love with a gangster okay mm. are okay. you the gangster yeah i'm like the leader of like the yeah. gang yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then i'm just so and i'm nice. the asshole so like really? basically the whole movie is just me being a dick you like look it. so nice in that movie poster. But you gotta, you gotta trick him. You know what I mean? You Except the part like... where you put your freaking hand in her <laughs> mouth like this. That's kind of a little bit. That's so, so that's a little aggressive. Yeah, don't you censor my little face, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I know that pissed you no, off. No, that. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So what? What? What does the title entail? Like, talk back and you're dead. What does that mean? I don't know. I just say it once in the movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at one point in the movie, you're like, talk back. Because I think I said something like, like, there it is. <laughs> like, you have to be my girlfriend now. And oh. if you talk back, you're dead. Oh, hell so no. So it's just like, you. oh my God, I gotta do it because he's gonna kill me. But then actually, oh, he's kind of likes boy. it. That's kind of, you know? okay. Wait, okay. She she's kind of into it at the yeah. same time. He's so. a bad boy. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> he's, a bad, he's a bad boy. Okay, let's do one more movie. Let's do one more. We're gonna do one more. What's, this, what's another movie? That's awesome. Oh my God. What's so your the, favorite? What's, what's the first one I ever did mm. that kind of started the whole Yeah, craze. let's talk about it. This Diary ng Pangit. Diary, the first What does Pangit mean? Pangit. Pangit means ugly. That's what I was talking about. Remember the NG in the middle? Yeah, so what is this whole, what a diary of an ugly person? Yeah. Oh <gasps> they put, look at that, what they did to the girl. They put like little <laughs> dots on her face. And they had to like put prosthetics and stuff. Yo, like this that. reminds oh. me of like 10 things I hate about you, where the oh. where they kind of make the girl kind of ugly, but then there's a transformation oh, scene. I feel like- Yeah, the, like not another teen yeah, movie, or she's movies, not, she's all she's But these all kind that? of movies are harder to do now yeah, in this called? climate, you know, because there was that movie back in the day, like, uh, shallow how yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah you know like you can't really make that movie now right you know yeah, what i mean right right and even in korea 500 they had pound 500 something. pound beauty <laughs> something yeah. 500 pound beauty yeah yeah so it's like a shallow how thing and you can't really make those movies now yeah but I, it's so funny because that's just a comical like ugly person or just like let's just throw <laughs> a unibrow and all this stuff it's like remember that challenge they did on tiktok for a while what? where the girls would like look super ugly and they put their hand in and they pull it back oh, and they're yeah, all like yeah. i mean there's been <laughs> Bad renditions of that. Remember the angle challenge where they do this and they do this? Yeah. They switch it up? Yeah. But yo, James, that's crazy, man. P plus, props. Thanks for letting us go to your old joints and looking at that. She's all yeah. that. I'll admit, this is really painful. No, but... it's all good. <laughs> Can so, you? Are you good at like watching back your movies? I know stuff that no, I never. Film, I can't do it. Like even in the theater when I go to the premiere, I'm like kind of like, 
kind of crawling out of my seat because yeah. you have to show up at the premiere. Yeah. You know, sometimes I even like walk out like I'm getting a snack and I'll come sure. back after the movie's done. In the I remember credits. we walked out for Bad Rap a few times too. I can't. Like, we can't. That was a documentary about us. Yeah. And that's really embarrassing because <laughs> we start like showing like our real true colors. It's not acting. It's like <laughs> that's true. We're like we're we're vulnerable. We're like kind of an asshole. Yeah. And you're yeah. Like, you know. But it's not like that with the music. You guys listen to your own music. I know oh, that yeah. for a fact. Yeah. Like, it's interesting that you guys are like down with your voices. You're like, it's <laughs> very melodic. Mm. But like watching yourselves, <laughs> you guys are like cringe. No, I, I, have, I listen to my music a bunch of times before it comes out. But when it actually comes out and I'm at like a boba shop and like a That's fan or true. something recognizes me and he puts my song on, I kind of like, I'm embarrassed a little bit. You know what mm, I mean? Okay. Like, yeah. I don't I, like. I don't need my music to be my the soundtrack to my life. At a boba you know, like shop. I could, yeah. like I don't. Yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> no, no, I've hung out with enough musicians to know they all fucking listen to their songs after. Okay, nah, not this, this is game tapes. This is game but, tapes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we always look for. I'd be proud of my own music. Yeah. I would. I mean, I'm proud of my own little TikTok sometimes. You know, no, I will. Sure. <laughs> those half of those views are just my own. You know, from stuff? a different account. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like oh yeah. But, you Yo, are you doing any other movies soon or what? Movies? No, no, no. I'm really focusing on music for now. Um, it's been going pretty well. So I, I told you, right, we have like uh, I have a bunch of artists signed under my label. Yeah. So I brought them all out to LA um, just this last week. Sick. We're spending the next two months here. Oh, um, hell yeah. Pretty much doing what I've been doing this year, which is like just working on music. For and, the individuals or what? Yeah, for okay. the individual artists. How oh, many cool. artists do you have on your label? Uh, I have... I think it's eight now. Wow, Damn, we've got an army. Wow, yeah. that's cool. That's including me, Careless. Yeah, Careless. Uh, that's Careless, the name yeah. of the label. And also, you put out an album called Love Scene recently. Yep. And um, oh, yeah. have you ever done a love scene in a movie? Yeah, you have. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Ooh. Like butt naked or what? No, 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 no. It's not like that. <laughs> okay, this, is, yeah. this is the Philippines, so okay. So, are they, are, they pretty, are they pretty tame in the the like TV and film? Like they don't show too much nudity and shit like that. Yeah, it's it's uh like philippines is very family oriented so right oh that's true, that's true. yeah, yeah Phil- i could see that because yeah. the posters were very clean cut I, I mean i'll tell you right now my family has gotten more family oriented because now we have a <laughs> filipino family in our family for oh, sure yeah like now for thanksgivings and like christmas like we have something to do dude like, hold the sacks become more family oriented yeah. than the filipino oh man in, there's no family like a filipino that's family true. bro ain't no that's family true. like a, a filipino, filipino family, family. <laughs> 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 no, really shit. I just feel so much more like heartwarmed when I go to the Filipinos Aww. events. You know, Absolutely. my family was a little bit cold growing up. You know? I kind of want to touch base on what you said earlier, James, about how there was fan made stories. Yeah. So like even kind of going back to the relationships that they put you in, you know, not relationship, but the working couple thing that they put you in. Do the Filipinos, uh, Filipino entertainment, do they really base it a lot on the crowdsourcing, like the ideas from the people? Yeah, they do it so much yeah. that I, the TV show that I'm doing, yeah, that's currently airing, mm-hmm. we would only shoot it up to like a certain amount so that we can listen to the audience reactions. <laughs> Are oh. you serious? And then from what they said about the show last night would change It'll... what I did the next day, like on the set. Oh, wow. To be aired that fucking day. That's crazy. Yeah. So they throw Whoa. audibles at you like that? No, like what it is, it is, it's like a choose your own adventure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's, That's nuts. Yeah. So the people, crazy. What, so they listen to what the people want. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like that's why you know if you get chosen for like as the winner of the reality show, then you're lit because you got the whole country behind. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know the Philippines had a battle rap like scene. Yeah. And it's funny because that league, um, Flip Top was it was called. Mm-hmm. They got more views for their battles than any other language in the world. American, UK, because there's leagues there. The words out. there. There's leagues in uh, Russia and stuff like that. Yeah. But the Filipino league, when it dropped, what their wow. YouTube numbers were stupid. I'm that, talking yeah. like 50 million for the bet, and then you watch it. It's like an auditorium, it's packed. That's crazy. Mm. Are you serious? Yeah, Flip Top was things. huge. It was, yeah. And then we had a lot of rappers that came out of Flip Top that just really started their careers. That became the like like big rappers out there. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's insane. The support is crazy. That's nuts, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to try to pull the Filipino card now since oh, yeah. I have it in my family. Come on. Yeah. Are you going to move out to the Philippines? I mean, I'm part Filipino now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened, how that works, but my sister's husband's Filipino, so technically oh, I'm, guy. Come on. I'm Filipino. That's um, So talk about your album real quick, Love Scene. Yeah. Where does the title come from? Um, 
So when I, when I came out here this year, uh, Verman brought me out, and I had no idea like what I was doing or like mm. what I, what I was supposed to do. I wasn't trying to make an album. Yeah. I just wanted to like experiment to make some music. Right. And then, yeah, that was six months ago. And then we made so many songs. I was like, okay, <laughs> um, I think I made like 35 songs. Wow. Damn. And then I was like, okay, we should release some of them. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, we got three singles. Why don't we add this one? We can make an EP. Mm. And I was like, all right, damn. Seven, seven songs is too much for an EP. May as well do an album. Yeah. So it just kind of turned into an album. Yeah. And like i think i just kind of naturally i wasn't trying to you know i didn't have a concept for the album right. i don't know if people normally have a concept first before they make the album or they just start making the music and then either think way, of the concept either, later yeah. yeah but uh yeah i just i kind of naturally just like started you know writing about past relationships and like mm. that kind of thing so that's kind of the direction it went in mm. So it's basically just like different scenarios and like vignettes of mm. like the stages of like relationships I've been in. Got right. you. Different Very love scenes, if you will. Yeah. Are mm. you better at writing music when you've gone through heartbreak or during the process of the beginning of like a relationship? Like, is it the loving part or is it the death of a relationship? I think because I never wanted to write about that stuff mm. ever. But then when I came out here, like the producers and the writers i w worked with like everyone's really emotional yeah. <laughs> they're like so what are you feeling today like what's on your heart and i'm like yeah. man i really don't want to talk about what's on my heart today like yeah. i've been doing it for the past like three weeks yeah. there's like nothing left Aww. but and they light uh, a candle like no but what do you really feel though <laughs> yeah i feel like when i write love songs it's either i feel like the song that i'm writing will hopefully get the girl that i want mm. yeah oh or it'll Reminder. save the relationship that i'm already in trouble yeah. with <laughs> like i feel like those are the two kind of realms that i am in with the song because it's like when i make a song like that i kind of want the girl to hear it yeah and it's either to get her for sure or not to lose her yeah wow. you know there's, I mean? no, there's, there's no middle the <laughs> there's no middle there's no celebratory so love there's lo these are love letters that musicians make yeah, yeah. they want their people to hear 100%. it 100 percent. what the heck yeah. you, my That's first love it, song yeah. my first rap yeah? song was oh a uh love song to somebody you know yeah do you remember the time when oh you my were, god you never experienced love and you wrote a love song yeah <laughs> it's it the sounds worst. super <laughs> fictional yeah, and yeah. shit like that's so vulnerable i'm throwing pebbles at your window and it's like what the fuck where's this <laughs> when did you do that <laughs> like is this like it was very fake like but that's how that's where i'm usually at i usually like put I'm very like clear with subtlety, like not it's not subtle. Like I'll put like very specific things in the song, yeah, so they know it's them. Yeah, wow, you know what I mean? Exactly. Her area code was three two three. Her first, the letter of her for name, first name <laughs> yeah, is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like sneaking the AIM screen name in there. You yeah. know what I mean? Just something, you know something. what I mean? We met at the bakery, eighty five <laughs> degrees. Yeah. It was eighty five degrees. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Three dollars and eighty five cents I paid for you Tuesday. on September twenty second of nine. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people do that though. Hundred percent. They, they, you know. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Did the girl you were ever writing about it be like, "Did you write this song about yeah. me?" Because like that shit was whack, bro. That day it was eighty five degrees. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I usually do, they'll like they'll kind of hint, maybe like, "Hey, did you? Is that yeah. about me?" I'd be like, "You'll never know. <laughs> I'll never not love you." <laughs> <laughs> I'll never not love you. Yeah. Talk back and you die. Yeah. <laughs> but rappers be also talking sh mad shit about people too, or women they've dated. That, like that's, these hatred kind of. That's true. Jokes. Have you done one of those? I went, uh, a like hate, a, like a hater like, type of uh, song towards someone you. You broke my heart, bitch. One of yeah. those songs. <laughs> no, no, no. You've never done that. Little petty yeah. Joint. Okay. No, dude, Mine no. always, I, I always just like, I'd rather write songs, but I just like feel good. Oh, mm. yeah. yeah. Is that because you do you think that you've been like that since you were a kid, or is it like the Philippines? You know how you said it's very more like family oriented. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just because like of like my influences growing up. Like, uh -huh. like MJ was a huge one, right? Right. And I just loved how when you when when you listen to it, it's just like it just brings you to this like yeah different plane where it's like oh, it just feels good oh, definitely you know I, mean? yeah. I don't know billy jean was mean bro yeah. that <laughs> wasn't his jean lover was but the tone, <laughs> that's, that was that's not the his way lover. to do it you talk shit but you do it with the melody that just makes you, <laughs> you want to yeah. she was just a girl that who thought he was Come the one on, the but she was not <laughs> um but I, gotta, 
Wait, this was this is your second album, right? Yeah. I'll give it your fourth or fifth. Give it your fourth or fifth, and you're gonna come with the this bitch broke my heart <laughs> joints. I'm telling you right now. No. This oh, is, man. He's like, do you know what your Myers Briggs thing is? Like your no. oh your personality test? No. Okay. Oh, is that the <laughs> like the I N? Yeah. Um. I think I'm I N F P. Yeah, I think I'm P I M P. P I M. I believe that's. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I could see that as. Yeah, yeah I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They're very like empathetic and dreamers and lovers and, yeah. Mm. It's, it's, I could see that. Dreamy like or what? And dreamy. It's a mediator. Mediator. They're usually okay, good you people. It up. You yeah. Know? There he is. Yeah, Empathy. The see, thing is, every time I do this, sometimes it comes out different. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm just like crazy or. Oh, <laughs> I, I will say, you know, for those who are fans of James, who may not, I mean, maybe they do know this, but this man can party. This really? man can oh, party. So I will say, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, we've had long nights where we've we've right, been right. out, and it's been he's a good always time. Been, I mean, we're not, I don't know if they want to hear this right now. No, no, no. Yeah, they're oh. like, not my James. <laughs> you don't know him like that. James not my James from way. Never Not Love You. That's my Filipino accent. Not my James from Never Not Love You. <laughs> <laughs> James has always been a gentleman when I see. No, him. I like th this is the James that I see. There's a different. There's a there's a black haired James that I don't <laughs> yeah, know yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a different, different? There's the there's finger a to your lips, James. He's the, yeah, about. he's this one. <laughs> he's know? like, <laughs> what's Ginger James like? <laughs> oh, where's <laughs> Ginger James? What's I want to see that. That's next. We have yet to see. <laughs> oh it. my yeah. god, I would love to see that. Hey, well, yeah. I, I gotta say because when I talked to you, because I remember I was telling you uh, when I go to Philippines, I want to like hang out with you, party with you, and you have multiple like businesses out there. Yeah, so um, there's an area called Publashon, and we have like four or five, uh, we have currently four restaurants and a club, and we're still building on it. Mm. And then that's also where our office is and a studio, so Sick. it's a cool little neighborhood, um, like a walking, like walking district. Nice. It's like cool restaurants and bars and clubs and that kind of thing. Australian wow. food? Whoa, whoa, wait, no? Wait. No, no, not yet. Ew, no. that would be a very... So when he said... You have a few businesses. Yeah, you have four restaurants in the club out there. Yeah, so you telling me? Yeah, my guy, dude. What's the name <laughs> of the club? My guy, um, Notorious HQ. Notorious, Notorious HQ. HQ. Oh, I love that name. Okay, like so it. he does party. So is that where is that kind of your headquarters? Like where you would go so party? It's called that because it was originally the like the headquarters when For, in the middle of the pandemic we'd be working out of that space. Mm. Gotcha. And then the the name of uh the a food company. Like our F and B company mm. is called Notorious Concepts, gotcha. so we just called it Notorious HQ. Nice, mm. nice, yeah. man. Nice. So, so if I go out to the Philippines, what would like a regular night out in the Philippines be? Do they stay open to like like the twenty four hour kind of situation, like Korea too? Well, st still, like they they open up to like six a.m. Probably six a.m. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Which Early. party till six a.m.? Are you a six a.m. guy? <laughs> um, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. But like, uh, if you like in in that area and publish on. Yeah. Like we have a Korean, a Korean restaurant. Oh, you we do have a Japanese Peruvian one. Oh wow, a Filipino one. Wow. Let's go, bro! I love Japanese Peruvian. That's awesome. Yeah. And then, what's a Korean menu look like? What do you guys got on there? <laughs> it's we not like it. it's not like a it's not like a Korean barbecue. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. more like American Korean. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like bulgogi, yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah like okay. Uh, you guys have kimchi. Yeah, it's called West Study Two, like. Yeah. Uh, West 32nd, which is the Korean yeah. town in New York. New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great name, great name. That's very nice. I like okay. it. Uh, we got a, why do we have at least one kimchi talk every episode? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I we have, have to, to bring check it the authenticity home. of his Korean spot. Yeah. I know you're dying to try the kimchi <laughs> over there. <laughs> you are dying to try <laughs> Yo, the kimchi. Filipino flip kimchi. Heck yeah. But that's cool though. Like, so you, you did a Korean restaurant there. That's that was something yeah. you know, you probably you visited Korea a lot. You got Korean people on your team yep. and shit. So yeah. Yeah. are there a lot of Korean restaurants? out there and like korean things because of the industry um like, yeah there's, there's a lot, lot of korean there's a lot of mm. korean stuff like mm. it's korean barbecue everywhere on every corner now wow and, uh, really? k-pop is so huge right now in the philippines so wow. wait so what's the fusion of like you know i'll go to a country and there's like you know and they'll have korean oh, food yeah. but it's always a little bit fusion to f meet the requirements of like the people there yeah what do you feel about the korean food over there that's a little bit like what have they done to the food that's a little bit makes it different it's really not too far but like the filipino uh, palate is yeah. like it needs to be like salty and sweet mm. and like like it greasy. has both those but so all of those so it's stronger sweetness yeah. and yeah. every time i leave the philippines like everything tastes bland 
bland here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I leave, that's crazy. He's eating takis. Everything's like, so rich. <laughs> he's, he's eating, eating takis. Yeah. There's no flavor in these takis. <laughs> <laughs> the talkies, dude, those are so like, intense. Sprinkling salt in his ass. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I've been, you know, every time I go to like all the family functions now, yeah. you know, we got the fancy, all the lumpia, like, I mean, <laughs> crazy. Filipino is uh, top two, top three <laughs> for food. you. Yeah. For you, really? Hell wow. yeah, dude. Really? When I, when I used to live in Woodside and Elmer's, New York, you know, it's so many Filipino neighbors. There was a, a Filipino restaurant. It was behind, you know, a lot of Filipino, like, eateries is behind the market you know what i'm talking about so yeah. you have the rice you have the snacks it looks like a korean yeah market. like like you're talking about a deli style kind of yeah thing. but yeah, it's yeah, like I a see. bodega but you go all the way to the back and there's a whole nother little restaurant situation yeah. is this in virginia no this is in uh new york elmer's oh i got you okay. and then the daniel guan you know the the pig blood yeah the, the, oh my oh wait see, I'm, I'm used to eating the sweets from like oh, because on. pull this up on the screen over here we got uh oh so God. this is Jolly, this is, did you do Jolly Bee? Yeah, of course. Of course. You I forever that. love. You were a spokesperson for Jolly Bee. That's a flex a lot. That's a flex. <laughs> you gotta flex. <laughs> you gotta flex that one, bro. Are you okay. Serious? Let me tell you right now. Look, you're already big, so you don't know the things you gotta flex. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. But this one, you this gotta flex. This one's a flex. Because bro. here's the thing. Because they did a whole fried chicken competition in the country. They won. Jolly Bee won. No as way. The number one fried number chicken one in the fried country. Chicken. Damn. Dude. And they put everything. They put even Kyochan was yeah, in there. Yeah, we yeah, made it yeah. to the final four. I know. We but... made it to the NCAA final four. <laughs> wow. The NCAA March Madness <laughs> the fried team, chicken. The yeah, team the fried, fried chicken, chicken final four. Yeah. But Jolly Bee won and you did Jolly Bee ad. That's and but what huge. is this thing? Go back to the thing. This a, fool I saw had $50. the <laughs> the fans day for what is this? The yeah. sweet spicy barbecue. Yeah, I guess that was a new flavor of the burger steak. Right. The burger steak. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> fans day. New Forever Love. Is that was that the movie you were promoting? Nope. I think that's just like the tagline. Like I don't think uh, you understand because, like, this. So bro. we we did this endorsement as a love team too. Yeah. Because that's she's you know the girl. I mean? She's your yeah. love partner. I, I always love that this, this title is also confusing. New forever love. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like my last girl was forever. <laughs> no, but you're the real forever. <laughs> Do you realize how confusing that is? If your last girl was forever, like she should have been forever. Yeah. Like there's but no, I got forever a new love? forever. How do you even trust the word forever then? How do you even trust the it word? It dilutes the whole shit. It dilutes forever. Wow. You need to write for them. You need to write for Jolly Bees ads. All right, <laughs> Phil Filipino ad writers, yeah. please holler at me. I will help you with this. Yeah, yeah. Because that is confusing. The new better recipe. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. And they have Jolly Bee out in Vietnam, too. Yeah, or yeah. Everywhere. I mean, they got Jolly Bee in Korea, too, now, I'm assuming, at this oh, point. No way. I they mean, have they... it everywhere here, even in like areas that are not like just Filipino towns. Mm. Like, I grew up in an area called Carson near Torrance. Mm, yeah. And so that was our Filipino town. And we'd get like a lot of our little desserts there. But like, Jolly Bee's is now in like downtown next to like all the shopping centers. It's it, there's one in K town. There's it's like literally every town mm. has there's a Jolly Bee here. You know, I was gonna say one quick thing about the uh, when you got into the Philippines, so, so like at teenagers, these are like important years for your life. Like, yeah. did that do like a and being immersed into the culture so quickly? You think it helped you a lot, like what you're getting closer to your roots of like your Filipino culture, you know? Yeah. Um, well, you said you were going there once a year already, like, so you were kind of already tapped in. Yeah, right? I was already going there once a year, and like, uh, my mom lived out in like the province, so. It, it was cool. I got to really see the Philippines for what it was at a really young age. Yeah. But also exposed to like the poverty. For sure. Yeah. So we like, used to go into like the field and like pick out kang kong, which is like water spinach, and then yeah. like, cook sinigang, which is my favorite oh, cool. Filipino dish. Let's go. And sinigang. So I mean, I got to really, I guess, see that at a, at a young age. Mm. So even in Australia, when we went like, we went bankrupt at one point. Yeah. Still, I was like, we're still way better off than. What I've seen in the Philippines, so I could never really complain after seeing. Of course, of course, and yeah. that's the thing, you know. A lot of people don't talk about that, but it's like there's very poor parts of the country, 100%. and people living there. And my sister, you know, went there uh, with um, her husband's side, and like they're in the back of a truck with like 20 people going to like the beach or whatever. But yeah. it was like, but just seeing that, that it's like. The Filipino culture is like no matter what you have, right. you celebrate. There's f smiles on your face. There's on, joy. Bro. Yeah, and I love that. And like that's family. the part that I love. The family part. It's like no matter what circumstances, it's like a smile on your face. There's jokes being cracked. Yep. You know what I mean? Like there's a it, lot to be learned there. And that really like just I saw that firsthand too with like 
the uh, my my sister's husband's side of the family, mm -hmm. and we're hanging out. And it's huge families, you know, yeah. in a tiny we're like in a tiny room, uh, right. you know. And it was like, and they have like prizes and games. Exactly. Like they're playing games <laughs> with prizes. <laughs> I'm like, yo, could I let me help out with the prizes or some shit? Like, right. but it was just like the joy, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah. I felt like I didn't, I, like I didn't do a lot of the family stuff, so this was like such a new thing. I felt like Scrooge McDuck just being like yeah, yeah. <laughs> less hardened in my heart or exactly. something, you just know, chiseling you away. It was wild, and I loved that. That was like a beautiful thing. That is yeah. for sure. Um, like Filipinos, like definitely like one of the happiest people I've seen. Like I've been like everywhere, yeah, but still when I come home to the Philippines, it's like. It doesn't matter what that situation is. Like, yeah, everyone's still like having a good time. Oh. And I'm telling you right now, I went to the Philippines with Zoe. Yeah, because he has, you know, he's half of Filipino, course, of course. so he has, my, you know, you know Zoe, my DJ Zoe, my DJ Zoe. Yeah, yeah I think <laughs> yeah. I saw I saw him perform once. Yeah, last time. So I was he's there. he's he's half too. He's half Filipino. Um, he's half Italian. And mm -hmm. I went with him. We played a show in the Philippines. He had his whole family come out. One thing I noticed too: every Filipino person, mm -hmm. they joke around like a dad joke. It's like everyone is like, a, <laughs> oh yeah, you, you don't have to be a dad. You could be a mom and <laughs> mom and aunt, a daughter, yeah. but it's still dad jokes. It's like <laughs> the jokes are just like, hey, like, like, like it's just like nonstop. It's dude. great, and it's nonstop, non just roasting and like nonstop roasting. Yeah. I love That's it because I, you know, as you may know, I love roasting. Hundred percent. So it's great. Hundred percent. Your album um is out. You put out the single and the uh the music video too. Yeah, the single came out uh just over a week ago. And that was and featuring then... an artist, right? No. Oh, was that was that just like the model no, no. in the music video? Yeah, that was just a, yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um but then the the whole album came out I think like five days ago. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Love scenes. Go stream yeah, that for right sure. now. Call us up right now too. Hit us up on the Discord. Are there some music videos you haven't done yet? For the songs, there's some that I've shot but aren't but released. That yet. aren't released. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the next one is um a track called "Lie to Me," um and that's featuring Destiny. Yeah. Destiny Rogers. Oh, cool. Oh, that's yeah. gonna be that's awesome. The she was on the show. A sister. Yeah. So yeah. she came out to the um to the Philippines just recently, just yeah. like a few weeks ago, and we shot the music video there. Oh, um, that's awesome. We took her to Barakai, which is like one of the most beautiful beaches oh, in yeah. the world. Aww. You, I, don't I, I, you don't know Barack. You don't know Barack. They what call me Barack Obama. They call me Barack Obama, bro. Son of a bitch, That's my nickname dude. on the oh island. Oh my god. Uh. Um, <laughs> did you did you guys party out there? Did you take her out like? Short? Yeah, yeah. She had like a surprise performance at uh, at our club in HQ. Oh, sick. sick. Yeah, like. She was surprised because everyone knew the lyrics to the songs. Like, <gasps> dope. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a good she's got thing. a big Asian fan base. Yeah, she does. Right? Like, it's crazy. I, I want to. When I get out there, could I do a couple songs at your club? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, y'all be surprised. I got a, I got, I got a good little, you know, yeah, you Philippines eat. Manila situation. Let's do it. Oh. I got really? a Philippines. You got some I'm fans sure. out there? Are, are they your biggest me? fans? Are you fucking kidding me. Oh, Come on. Man. They call me the Korean James Reed. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have literally called me that. Oh, really? <laughs> it's, there's Reddit threads. Wait, are you being serious? No. no. <laughs> He's so offended. Fake it. You gotta fake he's like, where? <laughs> Which subreddit is this? That's so specific. Yeah, down, he's like, I don't know? see it. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I have it, performed there before, though. I, I, was, I honestly, the love there is crazy. Yeah. I think because also the I come from the battle rap world. Yeah, there was a lot of people showing me love there because they have a battle rap scene for sure. And stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Flip Top knows about you. You know. Yeah, that? yeah. No, I linked up with all the Flip Top guys when I went there the first time I went. That's yeah. Tight, yeah. But uh, James Reed, uh, maybe we'll wrap it up. It's been yeah. about an hour. Right. I think it's a good time. Unless we got one more call. Is there? No okay, okay, we're good. Okay. Perfect. Um, James Reed. Love scenes, yeah, out right now. Go play that album, and it's cool. is It's cool that there's an artist like him and other cool artists that I'm meeting through our team because we have similar management and people who are helping us. Yeah, clearly they're helping his career more than me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Shut well, he's up. got a lot of talents to flex, right? Maybe I got if you no, no, no. you know what? Maybe what would help. Why don't you take some dance class? You've always wanted to be a dancer, but he's shy about it. Okay, it's something he's shy about. I think that's the one and element of things like I, I do. I'm a you know jack of all trades, uh -huh. that, but that's the one thing you dance, right? You know, <laughs> no, I mean, I was about to say, like, if you take lessons, I'll join you. <laughs> no, you know how to yeah, dance, yeah. though. You do, you do choreography you see, on stage, don't Filipinos you? Filipinos naturally yeah. know how to dance. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think, so. I think everyone naturally knows how to dance. Uh, yeah, it's we just do it's not. a point in your life where you just get awkward. <laughs> yeah, you oh, have to go. Through, you have to go through an awkward stage to get good, right? <laughs> yeah. that, that's. Mm. But as you get older, you're 
like the awkwardness. It's too stuck in it. It's stuck. Do a little dance for us. Do a little. Come on, do it. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. A little jig. Why don't you do a little dance? Yesterday I saw you do a little dance. Remember when we yesterday we tried to do a whistle battle. <laughs> we did this thing yeah, where yeah. we went in a circle. Why don't we do that? I don't know why we, <laughs> we did this. Thing. It's okay. so fun. Do you fun. know how to whistle? Well, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in a train. We're doing this ridiculous. Do I don't know how this oh happened God. because one of our homies, JL, is like, he brags about whistling, though. <laughs> yeah. He's he the master whistler. Okay. So we were like, I'm going to do a riff <laughs> yeah. and you got to copy it. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, <laughs> and then. That's not the same riff. You that is the no, riff. No, it wasn't do at it. all. Okay, do another That's one. The and then, but we got to go in a circle. All right, here we go. Okay, go. Mm. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, That's yeah. close. That's close, I think. I nah, dude. All right, yeah. so, okay, final, final. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <What>? this is... <laughs> This My camera's like this. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, okay. Do it. Do it fast. This fool has you, a you do that one? He had the apocalypto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had a conch. Oh, yeah. hand conch. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was kind of interesting. Very what was that one? <laughs> Okay, I cheated. I used my tongue. All right, all right. We're not doing this. <laughs> no, but it was so fun. This just got kind of ridiculous. Right. Uh, James Reed, love scenes. Yes, sir. Yo, thanks for doing the show, man. Yeah. I appreciate you hitting last minute. Is there anything yeah, thanks else? Thanks for having me. Is there anything else you want to say to the people of mm -hmm. Fun With Dumb? The yeah. Anything you want to plug? Um, you have uh, albums out now. Uh, please check it out. There's a music video coming out um, real soon with Destiny Rogers, Light Me, so watch out for that too. Is, yeah. no, no other films coming out. No rom-coms right now. Uh no no I'm gonna take a break on the rom coms for now. <laughs> Can we if you ever make a rom com could I be your like funny comical like roommate friend the comical guy? relief yeah yeah the comic relief like bro but I, I think that girl He's if a, I ever do it again it would be when. Uh, if I can produce the show as well. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's like cool. That. Yeah. yeah, I think that'd be good. I think you, you gotta, it should be something like you come here, meet like a Filipino American girl. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's not, she's cultural clash. You know, very ambitious I mean? of you. Thinking I'll you play, play the crazy, I'll play the crazy aunt. <laughs> the crazy aunt. The crazy aunt that's like, don't do it. She's from a bad family. <laughs> no, what it should be is she'd be him, him coming and like playing himself as like the big star from there. Yeah. And then some sassy Filipino girls like, I don't care who you are mm. you know what i mean like i don't care if you were on blah 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 right right he's right. like i like you yeah because you're different you're different and then you, you play my career me. manager i'm your career manager oh. i play pro <laughs> i play pro i have the comic mustache yep. Yep. You know oh my I mean? god that'd be sick yeah man. yeah it's like no nah, man you're too busy for girls right now you gotta work <laughs> you gotta work you gotta work dude. all right james yeah. reed thanks for tuning me, in y'all fun with them tune in next week for another episode of fun with them peace for sure